This is Wham TV, the show that asks and answers the question, what about me? What about men? I'm your host, Ricky B. So guys, you ever notice how we come in different skin types, different forms, different races, heights, ages, ethnicities and backgrounds, but they've never really taught us how to wash our skin. That's always for girls, but why not us? We like our skin too. We want to keep cute, <laughs> right? So this video is for those who haven't really been taught much about skincare. Um, I'm going to show you my regime and what I do. The simplest way, simplest form, and uh, you can do it or not. Or maybe it'll give you a little help to actually find your own routine. Let me know if it works for you. Remember, take off your earrings because if you get them wet, they're going to turn. Especially mine because they're not real. Newsflash. <laughs> you gotta, if you have long hair, you got to tie it back. If you don't have a tie, just flip it back. So wash that face off. Warm water first and then gradually get to hot because with the hot water you open your pores and let all the toxins and stuff like that out. This is Biore charcoal. Yeah, my face is wet. Wet, wet. Charcoal, men's skin care. It has been said that the charcoal helps push the refuse out of the receptacles that are your pores much easier so make sure do not use your fingers because your fingers tend to be soft but use your palms your palms have these natural gripping calluses that nature created uh, and scrub them in if you don't have one of these scrubbies um you can always uh use a toothbrush that no one's using you know you can always do that and go in a circular motion but make sure the bristles are not too hard because you don't want to leave scratches on your face i would say if you have soft bristles on the toothbrush use that that's a lot better and for each side of your face for instance the right side you go in a clockwise motion as you're looking in the mirror according to you from your position and on your left side you go in a counterclockwise motion to your view to your your position and if you have hot water running or a hot bowl or a bowl of hot water just keep rinsing them out rinsing it out rinse it out rinse it around or rinse it off um, you're gonna have your baby hairs get in the way but that's natural um, just get in the areas, especially the corners of your mouth, the corners of your nose, the corner of your eye, and any wrinkled areas you have that you worry about. Because those wrinkles, they hold a refuse. So, try to get all that stuff out. All the areas, all the areas. Even in your eyes, if you wear makeup, like I do, I wear makeup on my eyebrow because I was born <laughs> with thin eyebrows like Whoopi Goldberg. Molly, you in danger, girl. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh-oh, I got some charcoal in my eye. But now I'm saying I have to wash it off. Rinse it all off with hot to warm water. Don't scald your face. If there's steam coming from the water, that's too hot. You know what too hot is. You don't want to burn your face, but rinse it all off with warm water but dry time do not do not wipe it off do not swipe it off you must pat it pat it pat it dry so you can keep the moisture of the water in your pores you want to keep the moisture do not wipe it off that's what the rinsing of the face was rinsing of the face is to get all the refuse out all the toxins out patting it dry keeps moisture in there now unfortunately <laughs> you got to use cold water I hate this part clearly cold water to close the pores cold water closes the pores so that you don't walk around the house and say the air is dirty or go outside and all of a sudden 
there's dirty air and it goes in your pores and you got to start that hell over again who wants that but you do have to start that over again and that will be much later in the evening like i said this is the morning wash morning face wash first i'm going to shave i am going to shave uh hot well, hot warm water hot to warm water and i do use noxema i do you know people use um shaving cream and that's good i always use noxema because my hair doesn't grow as brisk if you have more thicker hair i will definitely use a moisturized shaving cream um noxema is a natural moisturizer anyway with this eucalyptus and such ingredients um i like the way it feels on my face eucalyptus extract it's deep cleansing so it's kind of like the same when you wash your face first thing in the morning so i enjoy the classic clean noxema original um and i use that as shaving cream i do um it's nice it's tingly and i've been using it for years and i trust it i have rarely ever gotten nicked and i've been shaving since i was 23 24 yeah i didn't start growing facial hair till late in life and as, as you can see i still don't have much facial hair this is probably a week and a half of not shaving can you, can you dig it uh, i go up and down and all around um especially on my sideburns so let him do that he is shaving shaving all the hairs away never never forget the in between the, the eyebrows because you never have you never know you can have a couple of random hairs there but so now we're doing the same thing we did with when i washed my face using the hot water hot to warm water to open the pores and let all even the extra hairs that are there it's always important to use hot to warm water so that the pores open and you don't get any ingrown hairs when you're shaving sometimes when you shave the hairs can pull back and retract and they snap back and go back in the skin and then you have ingrown hairs and it's just a bunch of drama so pat it dry pat it dry pat it dry pat it dry Yes, cold water. There you go. See, cold water. You got to put the cold water in there. So, yeah, I hate that part. Again, pat, 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 dry. And now for the moisturization. Yeah. I don't have many dry spots, so I just touch and go. There's just certain areas that are dry for me. Um, there's certain areas that are oily for me, so I don't really attack those areas, but I do still swipe them with a little moisturization because, you know, a little moisturizing never hurt nobody. What is he playing with the lid for? I don't get it. So I put some under my eyes. Do you see? I'm just taking a, a fingertip. I'm not putting globs. I'm just putting a fingertip. Fingertips on certain areas that are dry. Because I do have dry T-zones. It goes from the middle of my forehead, down my nose, across the bridge. Those are my dry zones. I put a little bit on my cheek, a little bit on my chin, um, on the forehead, because that's where I have my thought lines my headlines so i just take that same finger and i roll around roll around push it all around make sure to get every place i use a very minimal amount so that i can stretch it out because it does stretch out you're gonna be like oh that's not enough for your face oh but it is a little bit goes a long way and one thing a lot of people forget is the neck area so please do not forget about the neck area. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. The neck, please, the neck. Do you see those lines I have? That, I got those lines during COVID because I stopped taking care of my skin. I was going through anxiety, but now it's time to put that box away. 
and take care of your skin. Skin is a gift. So I guess that's the end of that. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Next episode will be about male makeup. Yup, that's right. Listen, there's four things you can do for any of your friends who have online videos and social media. First thing is like, give us a thumbs up. Next is comment below if you like it. If you don't, what I can do better, what I should take out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I mean, you're already here, so why wouldn't you, right? And share if you like it that much. Let a friend know. So thanks so much. Love yourself and each other. What about us? What about us? What about us? What about us?